morning, guys. So I just got back from walking my noodle, her morning walk. Here she is. Say hello. She's like, leave me alone. I'm grumpy. <laughs> she is a bit grumpy because I'm not letting her go out and pester the other dogs right now. Good morning. I think I already said that, but, um, and I think I already told you that I just took her for a walk. We put a cat, and so I had to like switch her routes for the morning because she wouldn't stop bothering the poor thing. And I had it all filmed out, and then I realized that I'm supposed to have this flipped because when you transfer it to the computer, it's gonna have those black bars, and I totally forgot about that. So hopefully, I got it right this time for you guys. I'm a little bit worried that this is gonna come out upside down for you all. So we'll see if you'll be watching an upside down video for the first day. Today I am going to be hopefully working. So I may not get a lot of reading of a man called Obey done today. I might get like just a few pages done if I do read that today. Um, but all depending on how long it takes me to edit yesterday's video. If I do work for her while I'm working for her, I'll be listening to Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, to Audible. I'm on the fifth chapter, the sixth chapter right now, so if I do end up listening to it today, you'll get an update on that. I thought I would talk about how I'm doing with my monthly reading. Um, I'm changing things up because I want to start the year fresh. So what I'm going to do is just focus on the library books that I have checked out and get as much of them done as possible. If I don't finish them by the end of the month, then I'll just return them because starting next month, the next year, I want to just focus on my books. I know that won't last. I always say that I want to focus on my books and then I end up not focusing on them and borrowing books and stuff like that. So that's just something that I'm going to have to try my best to focus on. But I know it's not going to last forever. It's just a goal to get as much of my books as I can before I run out of steam in that area. And I thought really quickly before I turn this off, I would share with you the library books that I got out. Um, as I said, I'm currently reading a man called Always as a library book. And then I have HHH by Laurent Bennett. This is one of my most recent borrows. But this is one of the books that I am most looking forward to reading. So I might put this up to the front and of the line because I really want to get to this one before the month ends and when before it's due. And then also I got a book that I requested in the library, but I haven't got a chance to pick it up yet. And that is We the Drown. I forget who this by. So that will probably be end up being put to the front too, because that's another book that I've been wanting to read for ages. So these two books, I've been wanting to read for a couple of years, I think, and or more. And so I finally got them checked out from the library. There's just no way that I am going to not read them when I have them. So those two I definitely will be reading. But the rest of the books here are get to them if I can. If I don't, I can just make sure that they're on my TBR on Goodreads and get to them later on. So the next book that I checked out for the library is The Namesake by Jumbo Lahiri, How Green Was My Valley by Richard Llewellyn, The Diving Bell and the Butterfly. I don't know how to pronounce his name, so I'm not going to try. The Air Affair by Jasper Ford. I actually read this one like years ago and I didn't particularly like it then, but I thought that I would give it a second try and see if I can enjoy it better this time and hopefully if I do continue on with the rest of the books. And the last book that I have here is All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. Supposedly this has turned into a film, but I haven't heard anything about the film. So I don't know. And this is why I, so I don't have a lot of expectations for this one. So we'll see. This is the last on the list. So I'm not going to, this is not, this is one of the books that I, I most likely won't actually read this month. And because I am focusing on the library books, I won't be doing my typical TBR recap since I've only read one book off my TBR and it actually ended up being de as you will have found out in today's video. 
will start fresh with a TBR for December and then go back to my monthly TBR recaps at the end of December, at the end of January, I should say. And I might add a little bit more to it when it comes to my recaps, we'll see. Um, it all depends. I had actually planned to do a challenge, but that would mean borrowing books. I might still do it as long as I am still mainly focusing on my TBR. It all depends on which of the challenges I'm doing. I, I will update you more a little bit later. Here's another shot of my noodle. Rumpy noodle. Ciao for now. Just a little bit later. I don't think that I'm going to be going to work because she hasn't called yet. And she said she'd be calling around this time. So I thought I would quickly give you an update on my reading right now. I started out at 96 pages with a man called Ove. And I am now 171 pages in. And so far, so good. I'm enjoying it much more than I was hoping for. So we have that going. I am heading out because I need to buy one more present for my dad and I need my mom to come with me. So yeah, I'm gonna head out into the cold, cold day. Maybe it's a little bit warmer outside than it is inside this cold house. But here's my little girl. Hi. I know you wanna come with me, don't you? I don't know. She doesn't know what she wants. So I will check you a little bit later, hopefully with maybe I'll get to finish this book today. Probably not. It would be nice. But anyways, again, check you out later. Ciao. <laughs> hey y'all, welcome to this awkward angle. So I just got back from doing some Christmas shopping. Actually, from finishing my Christmas shopping. It took way longer than I thought it would. I thought at this point, I'd be home back home and be able to be reading, but I got a little bit back later, and so I finished what I had to do. My brother actually did some Christmas shopping, and that's what made things go a little bit longer than I was expecting. But because of how long it took me, or rather it took Michael to do the shopping, I most likely won't end up reading anymore. Okay, like I said, because we took so long, most likely I won't end up reading any more than I did. Before I left, I mentioned that I had read until up to 171 pages. So that's where I will be stopping today. And once I finish this, hopefully I can continue on with some other things I wanted to do. All of them with my awkward one. Big, ugly one. So I just had to put name, a name on them all, and then I'm done. So as you saw in the previous clip, I was watching Baby, or rather Boss Baby. I did not finish it. I think it's a little bit on the stupid side. Too much. So for me, I just didn't really get into the style or the story. It's like a whatever thing. I kind of knew that I wasn't going to like it, but I thought I could finish it. It just got kind of annoying pretty quickly. So sadly, that's not going to be happening. So I'm just going to continue on with NCIS for now while I finish my popcorn and then edit what I have for today. So that I don't have to worry about it at the end of the week trying to compile all of the clips. So that is all for today. I I think I mentioned this. I am 171 pages in with my um the man called Ove by Frederick Backman, and I never got a chance to really go back into it for all of the reasons I talked about today. I'm sure. So I will see you tomorrow.